Hi everyone, uh, just a wee small small video today. Um, everybody seems to like the technical stuff, so I thought I'd just do this. I'm just doing a wee bit of work on a, a wee car here today, and I thought I would share it. So, ever since I did the 200 VI video uh, about the brakes and stuff, uh, I got a few uh, questions about what I meant about adjusting the pedal uh, and wee bits like that. And what I usually find sometimes is when you do some brake work on the ZRs, uh, 25s, is that you get a wee bit of a, a long pedal. You'll get uh, the like, initial bit of the pedal will be soft, but then you'll get a good pedal. Uh, I usually find this a lot when I fit the Freelander master cylinder, which is the larger master cylinder, if everybody wants to um, have a look at that. But mm -hmm. I will... Uh, I'll show you now what I meant by that, by adjusting the pedal. Um, basically what you're doing is adjusting the stopper on the brake pedal and uh, you, uh, you're you just taking that wee bit of initial play or the start of the brake pedal. So uh, I'll show you that here now. So as you can as you can see this is just a, a normal diesel ZR and if you look, if you look in here you'll see Basically, this is this the this is the the stop switch here. So this is what does your brake lights, and this is where the stopper works the pedal. So as you see there, that was works the brake light. The wee plunger, so the plunger works the brake light. But this actual unit here, it actually helps with um, where the pedal starts. Basically, so as you can see there, all you do is loosen this nut. It's fourteen mil. Listen that, screw screw the whole unit in, and this will push the pedal down this way, which means your brakes are slightly active. So when you do that, you can adjust it so far and then try it, see if it's any better. And obviously you need to make sure that there's no binding on the brakes, so you don't obviously want the brake pedal too far down. So that's basically how you do it. You take that wee bit of play out of the pedal, and makes the pedal feel far better and makes the brakes work far better too. So that's about it. So if you have any questions again, please put them up. But that's really as simple as that. Okay. And just to round up, this is a Freelander master cylinder. So you can see here it's easy identified because you've got the, the larger reservoir and then the outlets are on the driver's side. Uh, the reason why I fit these is uh, this this actual cylinder here is a larger bore, so it gives you a bit more capacity and it usually gives you a better pedal, especially when you upgrade the brakes to a larger larger setup. Unfortunately, uh, the servo of the Freelander doesn't fit; its the diameter is too wide. Um, it might fit into a ZS, but it won't fit into a ZR. Um, I've never actually tried it into a ZS, but um, that's basically the difference for the Freelander Master Cylinder. Uh, also, I thought this is actually um, something I thought in the past. If you did, did want to put it into a ZS, a ZR with a hydraulic clutch, you could actually use this reservoir for reservoir for the clutch. So all you need to do is put um, maybe a small fitting onto here. And then that would give you your uh, reservoir for your clutch as well. That's something else I plan to do in the future. So I hope that helps people. It gives a bit, a bit more understanding of what I was talking about in that video. And hopefully that helps. And just as a final, final thing, I've actually got a ZR here fitted with uh, a Freelander Master Cylinder. So as you can see, uh, it fits just fine. Obviously it's a bit tight in here. But uh, just, to, just to let everybody know, these fittings are not the standard ZR fittings. Uh, you need the larger bore ones. Uh, so if, you, if you're thinking of changing, make sure you have them um, available. And you need to bring your, you can you can re-bend your original pipes around to the other side. And it can be done if you heat them up uh, without kinking them. It's usually okay. So there you go.